Hey everyone! So this video is going to be my first ever favourites video. Um, because it's my first ever one, there's a few things that are actually long time favourites, but I just thought I'd add them in for this video. I know favourites videos aren't as popular anymore, but I still love them, so I thought I'd just make one myself. So my first few favourites are my beauty and makeup favourites. Um, the first thing is this foundation that I've just recently gone back to, and it's the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. And it's my like summer foundation. It's really light wearing. Usually I'll wear the Max Factor 3-in-1, which is also the CoverGirl 3-in-1. It's the same brand, just different name. Um, this is this foundation. A little bit too bright in here. But um, this is really great. The only thing that I was like suspicious about when I got it first was that you have to apply it with a little swab. Um, and having cystic acne for like four years, I'm kind of scared of anything that could add excess bacteria, but because it's Clinique, it is really highly tested and it does not irritate my skin at all. It's really light wearing for the summer. Um, I would always wear it if I was in Singapore or if, or if I was on holidays because it's a little bit darker than my usual foundation, but it's so blendable. So even like today where my fake tan has faded a lot, <laughs> um, this looks a lot too white from what I can see behind me. but. Um, I would use this, I could definitely blend it really well. I'm in the shade number 2, Alabaster, and this is a little bit dark for me. I This does look a little bit extra pale, but I actually am that pale. And um, this is my like dark foundation. But I would highly suggest this if someone has like very easily irritated skin. Don't be too scared of having to dip and apply it with a swab. It's just a really great formula and I would highly suggest it. So these are some recent favourites um, compared to some of the other things, but this is the NYX uh, lip liner in Peekaboo Neutral, I think it is, and then this is the Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee, and I'm just wearing the Butter Gloss um, on my lips today. But I love wearing these two in combination with each other, it's just a nice neutral lip colour, and I'm not actually that much of a lip gloss fan usually, but I just love this colour. And even one of my friends tried it on um, a couple days ago and loved it. And she has very different colouring to me. She has dark hair and very different toned skin. Um, much more pink toned skin. And she loved it as well. So I would highly suggest this for anyone. And this lip liner. I tried to find it again for someone else and I actually wasn't able to find it. But maybe that was just my local place that didn't have it anymore. But I love these two in combination with each other. So this makeup favourite is a long time favourite. Well, since maybe... January, when I was in Singapore, I went to Sephora, because we don't have them in Ireland, and I came across this Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Brow Colour, and I had heard about the eyeliner all day, every day, you know, it's people's favourite eyeliner, but I was looking for a brow product, and I have very warm toned blonde hair. I do lighten it sometimes, but not at the moment, um, but it's very warm toned naturally still. Um, so this, when I came across this, I tested it out on my hand and I was like, no, trying to convince myself that it wasn't perfect for me because it was so expensive. But I just bit the bullet and got it and I have no regrets. It looks like this. I have the, I think it's like the lightest colour, light is what it's labelled. And it, you apply it, I'm pretty sure this must be like the eyeliner, I've never tried it. But you apply it like this. Hopefully it's coming out, yeah. So what you would do is just like tiny little brush strokes when you're filling in your eyebrows and it really helps. It's not too dark, it's the perfect tone. It actually looks a bit greeny on your hand. I'm not sure if that's coming out on camera. It looks a bit greeny, but it just is perfect for my hair color. I love it. I will definitely be purchasing, purchasing this again. I'll probably have to find it online somewhere, but I use it every day. I've had it since January, so definitely a great product, really long lasting as well. So on to like my clothing favourites, it's actually shoes. I just got this pair of Sperry's recently and this is the Bluefish style from what I can remember and I'm pretty sure they're discontinued. I couldn't find them on the Irish Sperry website and I just couldn't find them anywhere to be honest. And I have the uh, authentic originals but I found the sole was a bit too thin, they just weren't structured enough. And I had the Angelfish which is the lower part like almost like the ballet flat style of these and I really like them I thought they were so comfortable but they were just 
um, I have quite narrow feet and they were just putting a bit of stress on my feet being so low down and I really wanted a bit more of a shoe so I managed to find these on eBay from a place that ships from San Diego I think and it's because they are if you can barely notice they are slightly different colors they actually look a bit more like different colors on this but yeah and one of them had a few scuff marks which have since disappeared so I'll link that um, eBay store down below if I'm able to figure that out or I'll just find the name of it so you can search for it but they had loads of these and they've loads of different Sperry's that are since like discontinued or I can't find in stores anymore and I got them at a really great price I got these for like 40 euro um, like maybe 50 including shipping instead of they would have been originally $120 so that was a really great deal so another clothing favorite that's a bit unusual are these Nike shorts um, they're just the dry fit shorts um, I don't know any particular style, they have a little zipper at the back. I have them in grey and I, um, as I've said in so many other videos before and I'm yet to make a, like a dance video but I'm a dancer and I prefer to wear like loose shorts. I'm, I do like leggings but I'm more of a shorts fan um, just all the time. So they have like a little stretchy mesh panel here but I recently signed up the gym and because it's been so hot here it's not that hot okay it's like 20 degrees it's very hot for Ireland so and um, these are great for going to the gym and um, I prefer these shorts to some other shorts like I love Forever 21's active wear as well but their shorts are very short these have the brief lining in them as well as having that little bit of extra leg length which is good for me because I'm always stretching and basically I don't want to flash anyone at the gym so I would really suggest these I really like them I got another pair which I'll have in a haul which I'll put I think it's here in the little information thing but um, I got a hot pink pair like well not a hot pink a neon pink pair and they're pretty similar to this I think they have a longer leg length so I will be wearing those just for practicality but I really like these and I love the grey colour instead of a black it's just a bit softer Along with that, I have this, um, sorry, my like, gym memberships is attached to it in a little keychain. Um, this water bottle that I got in the Nike outlet as well. I think, that's, I think those might be outlet shorts, if that makes any difference. But this is just a water bottle I got, and I put a monogram sticker on it, and I think it's really cute. One reason I love this is that it has this like decent sized hook, so I can carry it around with me at the gym. Um, it's pretty big, it's 875 milliliters, this is enough. Um, and it has like a little drink thing like that so I really like this water bottle I know it's probably strange to put it in favourites video but because I've been going to the gym so often I've been using it a lot and I really like it so the last of my fashion favourites is this Kendra Scott necklace which is a long time favourite I got it last summer and I'll bring it up closer there and it's the Eliza necklace I think or Elisa or whatever um, I really like this necklace, I wear it pretty much every day and I layer it with my monogram necklace even though my monogram necklace is silver and this is gold. I'm not sure what this stone is called because I didn't buy it online. Um, I bought it last summer and I just wear it all the time and I always get so many compliments on it. It's nice because it's a shorter length than a lot of other necklaces so it sits better with a lot of tops and it's really good for layering. The only thing is I've worn it so much that I'm not sure if this will come out. There's a my nails um, a crack in it which has been stained so it must have been dropped or something at some point which is very sad but other than that it's also pretty durable you know wearing it all the time and I think it was like $50 I got it when I was traveling and I just love it so much and I would highly suggest it, it comes in so many other colors I'm really considering and um, trying to find because I know Nordstrom ship internationally and seeing if these go on sale at any point because I'd love to get a brighter color it's Kendra Scott in case I didn't mention that before so in the last like two videos I've keep saying like how hot it's been in Ireland it's not been that hot but given my foundation shade and how pale I look in this I am very pale so I still burn very easily um, and I don't like wearing sunglasses so I have been wearing baseball hats and they don't really match my style so much but I got this one um, a couple months ago from Ralph Lauren and they were doing a sale on them in winter because I knew I'd be needing it but I've actually been wearing it because I've been doing a lot of stuff in the garden recently and I've been wearing another one when I was painting because I didn't want to get this dirty with paint um, of my dad's like bowing ones but um, 
yeah, I would actually highly suggest baseball hats. Like, they're not that ugly, and they really do help if you don't like wearing sunglasses, and they do provide some shade for your face. Like, I'm still wearing sunscreen, and I'll have, like, a long sleeve on when I'm outside just because I'm not getting burned. <laughs> um, but um, I just think this one's really cute, and I like the navy colour as well, and I'll be bringing this on my holiday soon. So my last favourite, which is kind of a random favourite, is my file facts. So I think I'll be making a video um, pretty soon on like what's in my file facts because I've really been like tricking it out <laughs> over the summer holidays. Um, I usually use my Lily Pulitzer planner for um, school things and then this for kind of organising YouTube things and uh, workout things and I've been looking for a job recently so um, things like that. So I'll just give you like a quick tour um, of my planner. This is from, I have like the, a dashboard set from Kiki K, which I'll link down below. It's a super cute planner store. It's based in, I think they say it's Scandinavian, but I think it's mostly based out of Australia. Again, they have one in Singapore. That's where I've gotten stuff from. Um, I have the little watermelon thing. I think it's the cute set. Um, that's a sticker I drew on. And then little heart stickers and post-it notes and I made this myself, my own little um, dashboard at the start. Um, I have, I'll just show the back, I have like uh, IDs and things like that and this is um, uh, Kiki K, I'll show you June because I haven't uh, put anything in it yet but I like to like decorate my planner pages um, and then every day I would really suggest the Kiki K set, that's a cute little insert there, it says make it happen, it's got a lemonade on the back and um, that's, I use like a to-do list as well as decorating things like that. So, and I have like little stickers, which I'll, how will I show this? Um, just kind of want to cover up things. So I have little stickers, so when I go to the gym, I can put a sticker in because I'm a child. And it does motivate me somewhat and it helps me to keep track as well. I printed those off myself. So I think I'm going to make like a file facts board on Pinterest, so if you follow me on Pinterest um, I'll be posting lots of things that you can print yourself. Um, I have this cute tape that I'll probably show when I, I think I'm going to do a craft area tour because I haven't really mentioned this before. I know I'm doing some like DIY kind of videos but I turned my like school desk into an absolute like painting and craft area so I think I'm going to do a little tour of that, it's pretty cool. Um, but this is a tape I got from Passion Gadgets but because it was directly across from each other, stuck to each other. Um, I don't think there's anything else super cool. I have this zipper pocket with the stickers I made. I'm going to do a more in-depth video of this. Um, but yeah, then I have a little photo set in one of those things. And yeah, that's pretty much it. My hair keeps getting stuck on my lip gloss. Also, again, such a child. I really wanted one of these fold-out maps. So I bought it for myself just because I love to travel and I thought it would be cute and I made this pocket myself. So I'll probably do some file facts DIYs. Also, a tip for anyone who uses um, a file facts and you have problems with your pen loop but want to keep a pen in, I use this purple gel pen um, for everything, is to get a pen that has like a little clip on it so you don't have to put it through the loop, you can just clip it onto the loop and that really works. This is the Filofax Domino, which I should have probably mentioned at the start, and it is the personal size. I've considered getting an A5 size for maybe Kiki K, but they're pretty expensive. So I think I'm gonna stick with this one for a while. I really like it, it's really durable. I would highly recommend the Domino. My mom has the Safiano or something in the lime green, and she really likes it. Hers is not as stuffed as mine, and this is gonna get even more stuffed, but it's, I would actually prefer a domino. I wasn't so sure about the elastic, but I actually quite like it. And you can always get one of the elastics that um, goes down this way. So I might consider getting one of those, but I'm really looking for some more of the like bookmark tabs, because I like those, but are generally kind of ugly, so. But I think I'll do a file facts video in the near future. That's it for this favorites video. Um, it's my first ever favorites video, so hopefully I'll be making some more in the future. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.